Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be my top 10 um, must-have fall eye products. So I'm going to do half of them are going to be eyeshadow palettes, drugstore, and high-end. And the other half are going to be like eyeliners and that kind of stuff. Um, I have a lot of like fall picks that I wanted to put into a video. So I'm going to divide the videos in half. So this half is going to be the eye product. My fall must have this video and then the next one will probably be like my top lippy picks and I was trying to think if I should sh throw some blushes in there or not. Um, I'm going to think about that video. But yeah, let's dive into this one. So I am going to start off with the eyeshadow palettes just in case that's all you're interested in seeing. So these are the top five um, eyeshadow palettes that I feel like I'm going to gravitate towards the most this fall time and half of them are drugstore and half of them are high-end as I mentioned. So I am going to alternate back and forth. So starting off with the drugstore, I wanted to quickly mention the Pixie palette. This was a collaboration palette and this is really easy to find. It's in um, a lot of Targets and definitely you can get it online. But I think this is gorgeous for the fall time. I did use this palette quite a bit in the summertime because it does have a nice array of lighter toned um, shades for the summer. But it does have all these deep smoky colors that you can use in the fall and they're very warm. So I think this is a very versatile palette where it is good in the summer but I definitely see myself um, reaching for this in the fall and I do kind of want to do a fall drugstore look so this might be a palette that I dive into for that. Next is the Meet Matrimony palette. I feel like this isn't as hyped up as it was when it first came out but I really really enjoy this palette and I always see myself reaching for this in the fall time. It has like this nice pink and the red and the purple so it has these nice warm um, kind of rosy tones that look really really beautiful in the fall with like a vampy lip. So I think this one is so perfect for fall and when I look at it I basically see a fall palette it has like some nice warm browns in there so I definitely recommend this palette if you haven't tried it it's a really good one you can find it even at Kohl's and you get Kohl's cash and all of that good stuff and I like the formula of it and I love that it's all matte I personally love all matte looks I do them very often and I just think they're so easy to wear and they look good on mature skin young skin it just matte looks look good on everybody okay guys I had to mention this this is the Sephora Pro warm palette I know the poor Pro Cool palette didn't get um, very good hype. I swatched it and I know it was really crummy, but the Warm palette is such good quality. It's so super pigmented. It's really easy to blend. There, blend. There is a ton of different shades in this palette, so you can create a very natural look, a very deep smoky look, super warm grungy fall look. So I really love this palette. I do reach for it often and it's actually one of the favorite palettes that I have in my entire collection. I don't know, something about this palette really draws me in and just I feel like it's just easy to work with so it's just fun to sit there and blend all over my eyes. The next one is Drugstore Priced. This is the Pinky Rose Transition Palette. I did use this in a video and I really love the shades in this palette. The shades are quite similar to the shades in the Sephora palette, so if you're more on a budget, this one has um, a lot of similar shades that I actually posted on my Instagram. The only thing about these shadows is that they do need to be built up a little bit, but that does make it really good for beginners because you're not getting too much pigment at once. The Sephora Pro palette is really intensely pigmented. This one you can take your time and slowly build up the pigment so your smoky eyes don't go out of control real quick, and since Yellow tones like this are so super popular right now. I mean, you get a huge one. The next palette I'm going to mention that is awesome for fall is a drugstore palette. Um, you can pick this up at Ulta. This is the J-Cat Beauty. Which one is this one? This one is the Sunset Boulevard palette. And... I mean, it's online only though at Ulta, but I mean, it's so incredibly beautiful. It has all these amazing shimmers. The shimmers are super duper intense, like you barely have to touch them and they feel like pure butter on your hands. The mattes are really beautiful. They blend out really great. They do seem to go on the eye a little bit darker than they look in the pan. So if you're a very fair skin tone, I don't know how this is going to be. It might be too dark for you, but if you're a medium to deeper skin tone, these shades are so, so beautiful. 
and they make really good smoky eye looks and all these tones there's like mauvey brown tones throughout the whole palette where I feel like it's so perfect for fall so I know I'm going to be reaching for this maybe this is going to be the palette that I do a drugstore tutorial with because I haven't used it enough because summer just got over and every time I look at it I just feel fall now to finish the video off I do have some eyeliner recommendations because I feel like Yes, you can do a lot with eyeshadow, but I feel like depending on how you use your eyeliner and the different shades you use, it can really make a look that looks very simple and basic, make it look super fall, super summer. It just, you can add lots of pops of color with um, eyeliners, and I feel like it can totally make a whole look. So the first one I'm going to mention is one that I use a ton, I'm actually almost out of, and this is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Puppy. Now, I... See, it just broke. This is not my favorite formula, but I mean, the shade of it is really, really beautiful. And I mean, it lasts a really long time on the eye. It doesn't need to be built up. It's pigmented right away. It's just that I don't know why they always crumble every time I open them up. But this color I use all the time, so it's definitely a must have for me just because I use it so much. There's no way I could not mention it. This next pencil is really new to my collection. This is the Italia eyeliner in the shade Avocado. It's this beautiful forest green color, and I think this is so perfect for fall. I know there's a lot of burgundy and orangey looks um, all over YouTube uh, for tutorial-wise for fall, but I feel like greens are so fall too, and depending on how you pair them and wear it, I feel like green is just such a fall color. Sticking with green, I wanted to mention this. This is the NYX Vivid Brights Eyeliner. Now the funny thing about this is I picked this up in the summer because I wanted a nice bright like green wing for different looks and when I got it home and swatched it it's actually like more of an olive toned eyeliner so I was like um, when I look at this on my skin tone it looks like it's for fall it's not bright at all so that's it swatched right there and as you can see it's it's olive and it would look beautiful with a brown smoky eye so I definitely recommend this for any fall look. It would make a brown, plain, smoky eye look super fall right away. As well as this shade. This is the shade Vivid Delight. Did I say the name of the green one? The name of the green one is Vivid Envy. So Vivid Delight is a nice bright orange, but when I swatched it, uh, on my skin tone it looks more of like a pumpkin orange. Like I would... Oh no, my bristles are messed up on this. I would actually want this for like... A liquid lipstick it's so pretty so that's it it's a very pumpkin-y color and again with a brown smoky eye it would make a basic smoky eye look super fall very fast and especially with like a deep orange lip so pretty and last but not least I've been loving this I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in my favorites video but I feel like this is just making me feel so fall every time I use it this is the NYX crystal liner in the shade crystal gold and it is just a basic glitter liner but it actually every time I use it I feel like it just adds a fall touch to all my looks that I've been using it with I just smeared it darn it but I'm gonna try to show you guys a swatch of it I'm gonna build it up so you guys can see it easier so that's it right there it is so so pretty and if you look at all of these liners together you can definitely tell they're super fall they have a lot of fall vibes to them and I wish I could wear all of these on my eyes at once they're so cool looking together so guys that is my top 10 fall must-have picks for the eyes I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful I definitely love and use all of the products that I mentioned a ton so leave down in the comments down below if you have one of these products if you love it or hate it and what is your fall must-have eyeshadow palette Le please leave it down below because I'm super into eyeshadow palettes it's like my favorite thing to have is eyeshadow palettes and lip liquid lipsticks those two um, so leave down in the comments down below your favorite eyeshadow palette for fall that way maybe I can check it out swatch it and all of that good stuff and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video i do videos twice a week so i'll see you guys then and until then have a good day slash night everybody bye